So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about submodule and I'm going to focus on how do we pull the submodule changes into the local repository when someone has made some commit into the submodule remote repository. Okay, so let's say right now I have a central repository and in the, my central repository, I have two submodule. First is a library one and with this particular commit. So this one, and then I have another submodule library two with this particular commit. Okay, so right now I have cloned into my local and this is the two commits that I have so far. So let's go to this text file and let's say right now someone has made some changes in the library one and make the commit. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file. So let's call it as a lib1.txt and I'm going to put some text inside. One is added, committed. So in this library one, this is the a new commit. And right now, in order to pull the changes into the submodule in my central repository, I'm going to use this particular command. So in order to use git fetch command, I have to change my directory to the library one. So in this library one, let's do a git log. So right now we have this particular commit, okay? And if we do git fetch, so it says that it's fetching the commit from this particular URL and the changes is from this point until this point from the master branch, okay? And I'm going to do a git merge origin master. Okay, so right now it's going to fast forward your master branch and then right now it's pointing towards this particular commit. Okay, so right now let's go back to the central repository. So right now, because there's some changes in your submodule, right? If you do a git diff negative negative submodule, you see a list of commit that is added into your submodule. Okay, so in your submodule library one, you have added this particular commit. Okay, and it's showing you the commit message. And if you do a git diff, right? And actually it's not going to show you this commit message. Because if you haven't configured um, git using this command, okay? Only if you configure git using this particular command, when you type git diff, it's going to show you the commit message. So the purpose of this command is that if you type git diff, it's going to show you the commit message, the changes that your submodule has, okay? Instead of typing git diff negative negative submodule, you just have to type git diff, okay? This one. So another way of updating your local submodule repository is using this particular command, git submodule update remote. Okay. So this command, you let git to go into your submodule and update your local repository. And by default, you check out the master branch. Okay. So let's say right now I'm going to make some changes again in the library one um, txt file. So I'm going to type two this time. And I'm going to say added two. Okay. So let's commit it. Right now you get in the central repository and you can type this submodule. So let's clear this. And then if you go to your library one submodule and if you do git log and you see your head right now is pointing towards the latest commit of the origin master. Okay. Which is added two. All right. So just now I mentioned by default, if you use a git submodule update remote command, you check out the remote master branch. Okay. So let's say if you want to check out a particular branch, okay, for your particular submodule, and you can actually use this command to configure to tell git that to check out some other branch. All right. So let's, let's go back to the library one submodule. In this repository, I'm going to create a new branch. So let's call it as a feature branch and yeah. Okay. So in this feature branch, I'm going to modify the lib1.txt and let's add something. Feature branch is added changes from feature branch. All right. So let us right now, if you go to the central repository folder, right? And if you open up the .git modules file and these are the only information inside. So let's say right now, if I type this command, and let's change back to the central repository to execute this command. So this will tell the central repository to track the feature branch of the library one submodule. So right now, let's open the git module again. So you can see that 
there's a new information is being added into this module file. It says that submodule library one, I'm going to track this branch, which is called feature. Okay. So right now, let's say if I change the directory to li library one, let's do a git log right now. You can see this is the commit and your head is pointing towards the commit, which is pointed by the origin master. Okay. So if I do a git submodule update negative remote, okay. So you can see that right now, because you have created a new feature branch in the library one remote repository. So git will go to the library one URL and then fetch the changes from the feature branch. And then you check out this particular comment. So let's go to the library one. And then if you do git log right now, you can see right now your head pointer is pointing towards the commit which is pointing by the origin feature branch okay instead of pointing towards the commit that is pointing by the origin master branch so let's say right now you have fetched enough commit message from the remote repository and then you want to make a commit in the central repository to track the changes in the sub module okay so right now let's say if you do a git status and you can see that you have a library one and it says that new commit is added into the submodule library one. And there's also some changes in the .git module files. But let's say if you add right now, if you do git status and if you want to do git commit, right? And you have to put some message. And right now you are not sure what message to put because you don't know what are the changes inside the library one. So it's a little bit inconvenient for you to make a commit message because you don't know what are the changes and you have to go inside the library one right now to see what are the changes in the library one in order to make a proper commit message okay so in order to avoid this kind of inconvenience right you can actually use this command so let's do it so if you do git status not only it shows what is inside your staging area it also shows you the commit that have changed in the library one sub module okay so you can see that the changes inside the sub module is from this particular commit since the last time your central repository is tracking to this particular new commit so from this point to this point we have three total commit okay and the latest commit is this one the changes from the feature branch so let's go to the library one so you can see that in your feature branch right you have these three commit okay so from this point until this point so you can see that right now the changes that you want to commit is from this point to this point okay so right now if you can do a commit message and you can put a proper commit message you can say tracking feature branch and you can put a changes from feature branch something like that okay and if you do git log right now so this is how we make a commit message by looking into what are the changes of your sub module okay and another thing i want to show you is that you can use this git log negative p negative negative sub module so it shows you the information of your sub module for every commit in your central repository okay so let's us do a git log negative p negative negative sub module so you can see that at this particular commit you have some changes and with your changes let's say in your .git modules you have added a branch feature and also the changes in your sub module is that you have added these three commit in your sub module and this particular commit in your central repository is tracking these three commit okay of your sub module library one so these are the things that i want to show you in this tutorial okay so thank you so much for watching this tutorial.